Hello. Hey, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining today. Yeah, how are you? Catch up with. You. Oh, I'm dealing with a classic Monday. How's that sound? <laughs> yeah, Mondays are tough. Well, uh, seems like they're getting tougher. But <laughs> Sorry, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, tougher as far as the number of demands and the time allotted doesn't correlate. Okay, great. Give everybody a few minutes to join here and then we'll be on it. Hello. Elena, how are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. How are you? Just moving out, dealing with my favorite Monday. <laughs> nice. Okay, well, I think everyone's pretty much here. So I think let's go ahead and kick it off. And Bobby, maybe you wanna give a little overview of what was covered on the last session, and then we can dive into what's next that we're gonna cover here. Absolutely, as soon as I find my unmute button. Um, and maybe we should do a round of introductions because there's a lot of new people on the call. Um, I'm Bobby Mascara, and I help uh, John with the onboarding and the documentation task force and mentorship uh, projects for those two um, task forces. Um, so we're here today to discuss where we are and hopefully get a, f a flavor for some of the people who are interested in applying to the mentorship if they're on the call um, or just discussing the timeline for us um, as mentors uh, to show a timeline of, of stuff that we have to get ready for. I think they extended the mentorship for another week or so, so that we can um, get ready and be prepared when we actually do get the best candidate in. So again, I'm Bobby Mascara, and if anybody else wants to introduce themselves. Uh, well, I can go off start. So my name is Usama Ahmed uh, Nice to meet you, everyone. And uh, I'm actually doing my engineering doctorate from Netherlands. And most of my time is usually focused upon either the documentation part or the software development. So I'm a huge fan of traveling and I always enjoy arts and history. <laughs> Perfect. Right, nice Welcome to the call. Thank you. Okay, let's maybe go to Elena. You want Elena? You want to do a quick introduction? Uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, so my name is Yelena Trishova. I'm um, a program manager with Exact Pro. Uh, the firm itself does software testing for financial market infrastructures, and uh, I'm leading the documentation practice there. So uh, I'm interested in the uh, work of the documentation workforce, and um, I'm ready to help with uh, feedback or some uh, tasks that you guys will come up with. So I'm open to everything. Thank you. Perfect. Well, thanks for joining us again, Elena. Really appreciate it. How about uh, Arunma? You want to uh, go next? Yeah, yeah, sure. So hello, everyone. My name is Arunima Chaudhary. And uh, I'm interested in, in, I got to know about this project through the LFX Mentee platform, and will be applying this year. And I have previously worked on a blockchain based project with Solana Labs, where I worked on building a Python SDK for the decentralized uh, platform data. After that, I was also in Harvard We Code Tech Fellow. And I also contributed to a lot of open source projects. I have been an open source hack mentor and a technical coach at anitab.org. Uh, currently, I'm also uh, a content writer scholarship track. So that's about me. Thank you so much. Great. Well, thanks for joining us. And we look forward to collaboration. Any particular area of focus that uh, you're looking at here, would you be more focused on documentation versus onboarding? 
uh, yeah, I'm more focused on uh, improving the documentation. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's what I am looking forward to. And getting to know more about the project and then start contributing and collaborating. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Osama, maybe you want to go a little more on update? Uh, from me? If you have anything you want to add, otherwise I'm going to move yeah. on to Vishal. Sure. Uh, so I have been actually contributing a lot uh, lately, especially to the open source, uh, uh, open source uh, code and development. And uh, I'm actually looking forward to contribute to this project as well. So I was having an uh, overlook upon a few of the projects mentioned by LFX. And as I have been working in blockchain for a while and contributing to those similar projects, I'm actually you know looking forward to contribute to these projects as well. Okay. And you're more interested in documentation than the onboarding side of the task force? So there was one uh, like few projects which I was interested in. One was uh, related to standard documentation for all the uh, templates and stuff. So if more details and you know all of these things are required, I can pretty much share after this call as well. Great, thanks for that. Uh, how about Vishal? Vishal, you want to come off mute, and introduce yourself, and talk about what uh, side of the task force you're interested in? Yes, sir. sir. Uh, I am Visharaj, a pre-final student at my institute. Uh, uh, I am particularly interested about the documentation task. Uh, I am new to contribution and this kind of activity. Okay, perfect. Uh, anything that you want to focus on in specifics or are you more on the documentation side? Uh, sir, yeah, you can move on on the documentation side. Okay, uh, Ben, maybe you want to come off mute and just do a quick intro and talk about what uh, part of the task force you're interested in. Sure, thanks, John. Hi, everyone. I'm Ben Thomas, leading marketing and communications at High Pledger Foundation and working closely with David Boswell on the new website upgrade as well as a brand overhaul, uh, which should be coming in the next uh, couple of months alongside the new website. So I'm joining this task force, task force specifically uh, to get some input on the, uh, the website upgrade and in particular the user journeys and how best to uh, reorganize and um, prioritize the hierarchy of all the contents. Yeah, perfect, Ben. And it's really been a great pleasure to have you be a part of this task force. And, you know, the work that you're undertaking prior for Ledger is wonderful. And we just want to do whatever we can to help and support you on that. Awesome. Thank you, Joe. Okay. Uh, David, you want to go next? Sure. Just looking for my mute button. Um, nice to meet you, everyone. Um, as Ben said, um, I work with him and we're on staff and we're here to support what the community is trying to do. So I'm interested in both task forces and to see how I can help with them. And in particular, though, for onboarding, this is perfect timing because as Ben said, we are working on updating the website. And so how do we get feedback on what the right onboarding pathways are to include on the website is definitely top of mind for me as well. Perfect. Yeah. And David really is always supporting the community universally and you know hyperledger wouldn't be the same without his support so thanks david thank you john and uh i'll just do a quick overview and then bobby i'll let you kind of go through uh what we did last uh call and so i'm john carpenter i'm working on the task force for both onboarding and the documentation this year and one thing i'm really excited about is the mentorship that i'm leading which is for the onboarding and updating the start here dot hyperledger.org and making sure that we really get new people into the community and you know i'm glad to see a lot of new people join this call 
and really my drive is always to get more people involved in the community and that's what we can do through both documentation and onboarding. So Bobby, I'm gonna turn it back over to you and kind of go through an update on what was on the last call and see what we wanna focus on for this agenda. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen very quickly. Go over a few things. Let me know when you can see it. Yep, okay. coming through. So first I'm gonna talk about the documentation task force. Um, even though I think that the documentation task force and the onboarding task force are kind of really intertwined because everything that the onboarding task force does is needs to be backed up with training documentation or at least you know some kind of hint on how to use it. Um, so that's why I think that that's an, an important, um, why we do these calls together. Um, so for the um, documentation task force, there's two things really going on and that's the task force itself and then the assignments for the mentorship program. And what I realized is that the timelines are off. Um, we should be finishing what the documentation task force needs to finish to present to the TOC long before the end of the mentorship program. So I kind of, with that in mind, broke it down to, to a timeline and some tasks, and we'll go over in that in a second. Um, so again, there's the task force and the mentorship. So quickly, I'm just, because this isn't about the mentorship, but I just want to touch on it uh, briefly. Um, I think what the task force needs to supply the mentor mentees with is uh, solid tasks to be completed. Um, so we need to, as the task force, create that framework for the mentees. Um, so for what that looks like, so if you see this timeline, which should, if my computer works, load, um, it has four, four buckets on the left, and each bucket is kind of the four tasks I envision the mentee doing. So as the task force, we need to set them up for success. So the first one is the GitHub Docs, and I'm going to just flip my screen again back. And I'm going to go to, where is it? The GitHub documentation. So Tracy did a great job of setting this up for the mentee um, or, and us. I mean, we really have to do set up some guidelines for it, but it would be the um, documentation template GitHub repository where people would go to uh, get ideas and get what is necessary for their um, GitHub repositories as far as the documentation goes. So again, um, she, she set it up with some prerequisites, um, useful um, commands, you know, stuff to help. This needs to be, in my opinion, something that at, at some point someone new, a new uh, maintainer or uh, just someone who wants to take the documentation. Like, again, I run a school. I can take the GitHub repository, make my own documentation from it and use that as training materials. Um, so, so how... Um, does this need to be set up for that to happen pretty seamlessly? Um, and I'm again, I have never maintained a project myself, so I'm not really sure what the most ne um, necessary items are in here. But again, the task force will work on that and somehow uh, with the mentee try to figure out um, the best way to present that to the community. So um, that is one of the first um, buckets that uh, the task force has to finish before the um, we give it over to the uh, mentee. And then again, the mentee starts um, in June. We should have that template done um, and whatever supporting projects need to be on that template. Um, and then let the mentee run with, you know, how to make this easy. And when I mean run with that, I'm going to go back again. Um, we have first task in this, in my opinion, for the um, uh, mentee would be, um, where to go right here. So these are the uh, mentee projects that got accepted that have a piece for documentation. In other words, whatever these people are doing needs to be documented. And we'd love for it to be documented with the template. And again, that template includes information from Ben. We don't want to use old logos. We want to have a library for people to go to and pick up the most current Hyperledger logo, the most current Hyperledger 
information, like a style, you know, whatever, everything they need to get this done and have it, you know, each project's want some of their own free choices and making their documentation look and feel for them. And that's fine. We can give them options. But what do those options look like? We have to figure that out. But for the mentee, um, I've talked to Min and the mentee will be able to go into the um, original, not the original, the welcome mentee uh, PowerPoint that Min gives and share a slide about the documentation task force and how uh, we're here to support their documentation needs so that they know right off the bat when they're ready to document, come see you know, the mentor or the mentee from the documentation. So that's one of the tasks for the ment mentee. Um, getting my mentees and mentors mixed up. And then, did I do that right? Yeah. Okay. So that would be kind of the tasks that fall under that first bucket um, for documentation. I didn't. Oh, I better put my thing on. Okay, so let's go back here. So that would, you know, again, be what that would be working on. And then next comes, and again, we'll be talking about onboarding in a second, but next comes the synergies between the best practice uh, task force and the documentation. So again, um, the best practice task force, uh, the, our task force needs to figure out what those needs are. Um, and again, the mentee will help with training materials and supporting documentation uh, to help. Um, we're not going to have the mentee create the best practices. We're going to tell the mentee what the be best practices are and ask them to develop um, what they feel, keeping with the look and feel of Hyperledger and the new branding, um, they feel um, they can best support um, the needs of that. Um, so that's one of the, and then again, the same kind of synergies exist with the onboarding task force, um, supporting documentations and training materials for what the onboarding task force, you know, they have um, jump off points rather than um, specific projects. So you're, you're looking at like the website, the wiki page, the discord, you're looking at the, um, uh, what else is there? The Twitter page, you know, wherever people can come in and see Hyperledger, those are those onboarding buckets that need supporting from documentation. Um, and then the community needs. If we're doing a rebranding, I know like the, the SIGs and the, the projects, everybody's looking for what their logo looks like. Um, I know that uh, archived in the learning materials are all the templates for white papers and, and you know, RFCs and anything that you really need a, a template for so that you can grab it there. But the only thing that we still have are, are the old looks and feels. So hopefully we can spruce that up and help with the community creating materials. Cause we're not, again, trying to create so many materials. We're trying to, um, if they exist, organize them um, and make them available um, and give ways for people to create uh, top quality documentation. So basically uh, this is the mentee. And then I have some, again, I'm not, going to spend a whole lot of time examining. Um, I do respond the best I can to people when they email me about the mentorship program. And if I haven't gotten back to you, I will. It's Monday and I'm working on it. Um, but the mentorship program, when it ends, if you've completed your um, application, that's when I you know, sit down and start really communicating with you and getting to know you better. So um, the period now is more kind of you focusing on that application um, and the communications uh, come um, subsequent to that. So let's go back. Does anybody have any questions? Because I'm going to uh, go more on the deliverables for the task force than the mentorship program. But I wanted to take a pause and see if anybody had um, questions on the mentorship before we move on? Uh, well, I've got a question. Uh, you did mention that we have to submit a form. So is that form pretty much similar to the application documentation or is it different comparatively? Um, let me see. Because, so right now, right now yeah. I'm on the Hyperledger. Oh, am I muted? No. no right I now can... I'm on the Hyperledger. 
uh, wiki page. Can you see my screen? Yeah, I can see your screen. Okay, so here is uh, for applicants, you would just go to hyperledgerwiki.org and you could just search mentorship program and you would find this page and click for applicants. And this is the tasks that you need to do. Um, oh, that's not it. Eligibility, how to apply. You would go to how to apply. And it gives you the information right there. You would just have to follow that through. And if you have any questions, you know, there's a video here, there's an email for men, um, and it's been extended to May 15th. Uh, okay, that's pretty much, I think, for being really grateful. So, yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, no worries. Hope you apply. Look forward to yeah. working with you. Um, you. So now, okay. <laughs> any more questions? Uh, yeah, I kind of have a question. So uh, while we are submitting the application for the uh, mentee, uh, they have a few questions that we have to answer. So is there a need that we have to get it reviewed by the mentors or we can just write it and submit it in the LFX platform? Um, oh, definitely. I'll do, I'm going to go to the dashboard the day the um, applicants close and go there. So do everything through the Linux dashboard. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's how I'm going to find out who is applied and met all the requirements is the dashboard. Okay, okay sure. Any more questions? Oh, okay. So now the uh, um, things we have to work on and let's go back to, is it here? No, it's not here. Okay. Um, some of the things we have to work on again is that documentation um, template and I should, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to right now put up a table. And again, for anybody who's new to Hyperledger Wiki's pages, you just need a Linux foundation ID. And then you can uh, click on um, edit and then you'll get, um, if my computer will catch up with me. Okay, a lot of words on this document. So you get to the edit portion. So where you can edit it and it's just like a word processor. And then you'd have this update button while you're editing. So right now I'm going to go here. I'm going to insert a table. I'm going to write, I'm going to clean this up later. Uh, okay, so the first thing would be work on the GitHub repo. Um, and I'm just trying to, again, um, Oh, I spelled that word wrong. Organize marketing materials. So someone has to be the lead point to contact and try to get all that um, figured out, I guess. Um, and then the other task forces. So if anybody wants to put their names on the um, tasks that we're going to go over right now, that would be great. So um, again, working on the GitHub repository, we did a lot of work in the old task force. Um, let me see if I can find that, where we did a survey of what people wanted um, to see their documentation. Um, and these are their answers. And then further on down, we did a, a comparison of what each project used at the time. Again, this is a few months old, so always needs to be updated, but it's pretty you know, reliable for, for right now, um, the project and what they're using for their um, documentation. Um, and then we also have some uh, best practices. And then um, if you really go further into this, into the archived learning materials working group, um, Ben, who used to be on this task force, made great comparisons between what each of these projects look and feel like, um, how do we want the menus organized, and that kind of information. So again, you would have to, the um, person from the task force who would pick this up, um, who would work closely with the mentee, would be deciding, I mean, you can't really 
everyone in the community has said there's no real guidance for documentation. So we have to figure out what that guidance looks like. Um, and that would be definitely the first step. So I know we have some paid tooling. Um, where do I put that? Oh, there it is. Best practices in paid tooling that need to be um, read over and see what we can pull out of those to um, get this template for GitHub up and running. So again, if anybody has, um, again, even if you are applying for the mentorship program um, and apply for a different mentorship program, you are more than welcome to stay on this uh, call and help us out. Um, we'd love to have you and you can put it on your resumes and business cards. Um, so the GitHub repository, if there's more than one name here, that's great. And you should put your contact information there if you could too. Um, and next week when we come, if people's names are there and they have a report on those things, we'll go over that report. Um, and then the other, oh, does anybody have any questions about volunteering for that or putting your name up there? Hello? Yes. Uh, how would I access this page? How will I put my name if I want to? Again, um, I if you look up in this corner, the right upper corner, I have a Linux Foundation login. That's why my picture's there. And all you do is need to verify your email with the Linux Foundation. And you too will be able to log in to the Hyperledger wiki, uh, I'm sorry, the wiki.hyperledger.org website. And once you uh, have a username um, with the Linux Foundation, you get this menu bar here, which allows you to edit. And once you hit edit and are in edit mode, you can use this as a word processor. So you can just click in any of the cells and hit update. And there's a toolbar for adding table, adding cells, adding, it's just like a word processor. And once you hit update, those changes go to everybody. And also one more thing, like the, for the task work on GitHub record. So what we need to do in that, like, which type of input you want by next week? So this first task is work on the GitHub repository. Um, and what we were kind of asking for is to go through the work from the task force prior where all of this is located and kind of get a, a best, uh, what are the best uh, practices, like which one do you feel is the best practice? And we also have some paid uh, that the Linux Foundation paid for and uh, lets us use, which is uh, this paid tooling policy. So you want to read over that and see if that, um, you know, what guidelines you would say for someone creating documentation from a GitHub repository. You know, there's read the docs, there's uh, Spiral, or there's another company and they all, you know, can, can take your GitHub repository and make documentation from it. So that's, we want to offer the community a standard for that or some choices that look and feel like Hyperledger, but still give them some access. So the task force is, uh, would just be doing some research on that paid tooling policy and what the existing repos use now and making a recommendation to the task force um, in the up, up and coming weeks. So if you'd like to try that, please put your name and we can talk again next week about after you've read through the policy and seen what people are doing, we can talk about what you think of the current environment. Okay, great. Um, any more questions? Okay, so now we're going to move to the best practices. Um, so the best practices is difficult because there's um, a, a task force that's coming out that has a whole section on documentation. So whoever would sign up for um, the, the work with other task force, that would be um, the one that we really need because we already are working with the onboarding task force. <laughs> um, so it would be the best practices task force and it would be to go look at what um, 
you know, go to their task force page and look at what they have a table and in the table is documentation. So they have documentation that they're uh, requesting or working on. So that would be something we'd work closely with them. So again, if you would put your name up on working with a task force, uh, you would probably try to see when their meeting is, what, where their web page is, figure out what how we can work together with the task that task force, um, because we already are supplying documentation to them. It would be great if we knew in advance what their where their direction is. So that would be again, if you wanted to do that. Um, and then the final one, which I didn't um, organize, marketing isn't exactly correct. I want to have a, a place for templates, so I'm just going to call it templates. And that one is, is again, we haven't really started working on that. We're hoping to get, um, I know Ben is on the call, hoping to get some information where we can get our hands on some early, if possible. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, and this is, um, I'm going to just call it user doc, and I'll go over that in a second. No, that should say templates. We'll fix that in a second. Okay, so now, um, so if you want to work on the templates, that's one thing uh, for best practices. And then here is the user guides. So again, we have figured out, and this is something I did before I realized we have a new logo. Um, these are the users, in my opinion, that come into the community. You're either uh, want to be a community contributor, which our new members on the call today are now community contributors. Congratulations. Um, you're a maintainer of a project, or you're a new code contributor, meaning that you want to help maintain a project, you want to help with the project, so you want to contribute code to the projects. Um, SIG chairs, those are special interest groups, and those are consortiums of industry like-minded people who want to have blockchain help their industry. Um, and then there is the TOC, which is the Technical Oversight Committee, which we meet once a week, I'm a member of, and we decide on some issues of where Hyperledger is headed. Um, and then solutions providers, I think of those as a completely different animal. Those are people who have money and want to use this product, um, and they're coming in it from a different perspective than anyone else. So those to me, if anybody has any more to add to this little graph, please let me know. Um, but that's basically the buckets that I figured out. I put them here. Um, what this um, user doc person who volunteers, um, which most likely will be me, um, if not somebody else, that would be great, um, would be to try to figure out exactly what, and you could work with David Boswell on this as well, exactly what each one of these buckets documentation needs are. So, you know, the solutions providers, they probably only need a three minute video to get them further information or, or really quick. They don't want to know how the product works under the hood at all. Um, whereas the maintainers, the new coders, the SIG chairs, they all need to know how the products work or else they can't figure out what solutions look like. Um, so those are different. And community contributors, they don't know how to contribute yet, but they know they want to. So that's not co just coders, but it could be coders. It could be anybody else. So what, what user guides or uh, support to the onboarding task force can we give um, these buckets? Um, and is it with the new marketing stuff, is it, you know, maybe some of the um, information is the same. And again, David would have to um, come, you know, have an opinion on what each one of these uh, user needs are as well. Um, so again, those are the tasks that we're working on right now. So if anybody would love to put their name, I hope everybody on the call puts their name at least in one, at least in one. Um, so there can be more than one name in each and please add your email. So I think that's it for the documentation task force. Does anybody have any questions? No. Okay, then I am going to, let me just get to the onboarding task force. Again, um, 
a lot of the information came from Ben and I know he had to just leave the call, but if you didn't watch his new, his presentation on um, the new look and feel and marketing, and again, I will reach out to him and try to get more information. He just, you know, said that he's available for that, which is great. Um, I put the same personas here that I did on the other um, documentation task force page, because I think that each place that I don't think uh, solutions providers are going to be using the um, GitHub as their first landing page. Um, and I don't you know, know how to direct these different folks to where they need to go, but um, I guess these are the personas that we need to discuss and see if they are in fact what we think. Um, so I'm gonna turn this over to uh, John who will discuss what's going on. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. Uh, so just as far as the onboarding task force goes, I had talked a little bit about the start here and trying to re-optimize that. And last year, Arun from uh, TOC was really involved in getting that up to speed. And we're going to look to improve that. And one of the things we're going to look at is, you know, UI UX, and that would be in collaboration with Ben. And then we're also going to look toward, you know, really focusing on these personas and bringing the information up as close to the first click as possible. And so if anybody's interested in that, the deadline for the mentorship has been extended now, I believe through May 15th. Uh, and I think Min sent out a note about that. So if you haven't applied for that mentorship and really wanna get involved with onboarding, that would be a great way to do it. That's a paid internship. So, you know, anyone on the call looking for a paid opportunity, that would be a great way to get involved with Hyperledger, help Hyperledger out and get some compensation as well. So there was a couple of questions. Uh, one question that was posted in the chat here, but I think we've had a number of people have joined the call since we started. So let's just go ahead and maybe do a couple more introductions here so we're all on the same page about your interest and what you may want to contribute to the group. So I'm going to go to Akansha and maybe you want to come off mute and just talk about uh, your question and then also give us a little background on your background and what you're interested in contributing to this group. Um, hello, am I audible enough? Yep, we can hear you perfectly. Yeah, so myself, Akam Sharani, and I'm currently a Shukumur uh, at the university <coughs> in India from New Delhi itself. And uh, I have a, a tech stack background in Python, React, JS, and HTML, CSS. So I, I was just checking out different mentorship uh, projects. And uh, I think like this onboarding one fits best to my tech stack. That's why I even contacted the mentors and uh, he, he guided me to join the meeting today. So I'm here right now. So that's about me. Yeah, I'm wonderful. And I, and I agree, that's a great way to see what's going on with what's gonna happen in the onboarding mentorship and welcome to the group. And if you have any specific questions, I know one thing you had asked about in the chat was around needing to understand the flow. So maybe you wanna articulate a little bit about what you're looking at there. Uh, yeah, you mentioned like we have to apply to the mentorship project by 15. So I need some guidance like how uh, in applying that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and post my email in the chat and anyone who's interested in learning more about that particular, the onboarding uh, mentorship, reach out to me. And I'll be glad to answer any questions and point you to the application and get you going. But really time is of the essence and you've got one week to really, you know, submit your application if you're interested. So I'd encourage you to get that done now before the extended deadline expires. Okay, uh, next one I wanna to touch base on is we have uh, Priyank that's joined the call. So Priyank, you wanna maybe come off mute, tell us what you're interested in, 
um, what you're looking at for joining this task force? Hi, John. Sorry, I was a bit late uh, for some issues. So I basically came into this program. I was also interested in the mentorship program. It's a little bit hard to hear you. Maybe you could get closer to your mic or turn up your mic a little bit. Uh, is it is it any better now? Much better. Yeah, much much louder and clearer. Yeah, yeah. So sorry for the hiccup. So uh, actually, I come, came on this call because I, I saw your like I I saw that mentorship on like to make like to make the new onboarding documentation of the hyperledger, and that's why I jumped on this call to get a bit more familiar with the community. And basically, one thing was very unclear to me. Like the first thing was we have to do the research and like maintain the documents but i guess there was also something related to the code changes and i could not exactly figure out what to change in the site so that is why i jumped on this call to discuss it yeah so on the onboarding side and i'll let bobby talk to the documentation side really we want to have somebody who's very good at ui ux design and understands you know how to be efficient on the web so we can coordinate with Ben to get the information up and visible. And then also really dive into these personas. So, you know, is somebody a business person? Is someone a maintainer? Is someone a code developer? And, you know, frame those out so that we can give them a good flow path on the website. And, you know, so really I think there's, you know, a technical skill set. There's also a web design skill set that has to come into play. And then really a comprehensive understanding of, you know, how do we collect all the documentation to make it easily discoverable? And those are kind of the core aspects of that particular one. And, and Bobby, if you want to talk a little bit about the documentation mentorship, that might be helpful as well. Yeah, sure. So one of the things with the documentation task force and mentorship program that we're going to be asking of one of the tasks, and I had showed a couple of tasks on the on the task force page, but one of them is right now um, the maintainers in the community of the projects and the people who are running labs have GitHub repositories where they do their work. Um, and the process of supplying the community with documentation is to take that GitHub repository, and um, there's there's programs that automate that um, and make it readable documentation for users. Um, so there's things like read the doc, make the docs, all these other different programs that can do that. And Hyperledger actually pays for some of them. And that was in that um, paid tooling policy um, on that same page, wiki page. Um, so the documentation mentee is going to be helping the other mentees who have documentation needs use the templates that come from the documentation task force. And the templates just really have a lot to do again right now that's what the task for this week is is to get some recommendations on you know exactly what you know what is the easiest documentation um transfer program that works the best for us what is you know what is fabric doing what is you know all of that has already been you know looked at the task force is going to come to a decision to help the mentee supply and test let's say test our documentation out with the needs of the other mentorship programs. Does that answer your question? Yep, yep. I got some more clarity. And there's one more thing I wanted to ask, like, are we going to make a new website or there is already a website which needs some changes? Yeah, well, right as far as that now, goes, okay. yeah, I'll just speak to the onboarding and then you can feel free to speak about the documentation. So on the onboarding side, I think we have a good core framework, but we need to build it out in accordance with what we've discussed on this task force call over the times we've held this and really improve it. So there is an existing framework to build on. For documentation, Bobby, I'll let you address that. Um, again, I, I wasn't sure what the question was. Um, in so far as the documentation, but more the website. The website, um, we are both 
I guess, more the onboarding um, is supplying um, Ben, who was on the call previous, who works for Hyperledger, who is in charge of the website. Um, he's waiting for our task force suggestions as to, again, how to capture those users when they get to, he's doing the website. The task force is not only doing the website as a landing point, but the Discord, the uh, wiki, the um, uh, GitHub, like wherever people come into the community. So the website is just one piece of the onboarding, but we're supplying our recommendations. Did I think I got that right? Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay. Uh, then the other thing I want to do is, you know, we've got another three people that really haven't had a chance to weigh in on their interest here, and I want to make sure they do your, their intros and go through that. So, Ayush, do you want to go next? Hello, uh, my name is Ayush. I am from India. So, I have uh, like learned about the this uh, hyperledger, uh, hyperledger mentorship, uh, like a flex mentorship from my like uh, college club, and I'm looking into it from like the past one month. So I contacted my mentor, Niku Singh, that he recommended me to join this call and that, that he know more about the documentation, how it works. And also like I am from like last one month, I'm like reading the docs, contributing the little bits where I can contribute to improve the docs of like other, like I've contributed this one, uh, start here documentation. There's one error in the, but the file name, I will help in that. So I'm like looking forward to like uh, joining this mentorship and contribute to the documentation of Hyperledger. Okay, perfect. Thanks for joining John, us. I, and uh, go ahead. John, I Bobby. just want to add something real quick. Um, for anybody who's been doing any work, um, these Monday calls are so that we can discuss anything. So if you you know have worked on something. All you need to do is edit the, um, let me just share my screen super fast. All you would need to do is again, get that Linux login. So your, your face can be in the upper right um, and then edit the page. And once you edit the page, you can insert files, pictures, documents. Um, and if you just put the date first, and just put your, you know, a link to your work or just, you know, a mention of what you've been working on at the next task force meeting, you'll be able to discuss that. That's kind of how we know to get you on the agenda. So please add to this, just put the date. It's just, again, like doing a, um, I'm trying to do it. It's just like adding um, a word processing and hitting update. Um, so you can put any comment under, you know, just date stamp it and, and write what your suggestions are, and we will definitely go over them. And again, read through all the information on these task force pages. All you have to do is just in the search onboarding task force or documentation task force um, on any wiki page, um, Hyperledger wiki page, and you can find these, these wiki pages. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks. Okay, perfect. Uh, like uh, you don't know about the uh, onboarding task force like uh, today only. So like I'll put all the issues that I've solved till now on the page by mentioning the dates. So like we can discuss in this la the next meeting. Okay, well that was a little bit choppy that I, I can really hear him. Bobby, did you hear what yeah, was I think covered there? Yeah, I think he's going to put some information in the wiki page for the next meeting. Okay, perfect. Thanks, Bobby. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, Devesh, do you want to go next and just kind of give an overview of why you're joining us today and what you would like to look at for a contribution? Uh, hi, my name is Devesh and I'm from India. I'm pursuing computer science. I have been joining Happy Ledger Meets for quite a while now, and I'm looking forward to contribute to not only the documentation part, but uh, also wherever I can get my hands on. But um, extensively, I'm looking forward to, forward to contribute on the website as I have web development skills. 
and i'll be applying to the mnt program and uh, i'll be very happy to contribute to the hypologist case thank you and are you going to be applying to documentation mentorship or the onboarding documentation or onboarding mentorship um i think I, i'll be applying for the onboarding and documentation both actually i don't have any issue with uh, any of them. Uh, but i'm extensively looking forward to contributing to the ui ux part uh, as it will help me in my future growth okay great yeah the ui ux part is definitely more on the hyperledger onboarding side and i look forward to seeing your application come through Okay, uh, Niku, thanks for joining and thanks for your collaboration. Anything that you'd like to articulate on your side of being a mentor and what uh, maybe can address any questions they have? Uh, well, thanks. Uh, thank you, John. Actually, I have been guiding a lot of mentors, uh, uh, mentees uh, in online mode and uh, I've been messaging them for a while and guiding them about the projects. So yeah, that's all from my side actually. Okay, Niku, and thanks for being a part of the mentorship and I really appreciate the collaboration. Look forward to further collaboration with you. Okay, uh, how about Anasaya? Do you wanna jump in and let us know what you're looking at here? Hi, John, uh, Anasaya here. Uh, like uh, I am actually attending uh, quite a few meetings uh, currently. Like um, uh, uh, my name is there in the task force uh, list also. So like I am uh, looking forward how I can uh, uh, be of use for our community. Great. And uh, are you more wanting to focus on the documentation side or maybe the onboarding side? What kind of has sparked your interest more? So I suppose on, on both, like I can uh, provide my support. So especially in the front end and like uh, contents. So, and like uh, overall where like uh, the framework, like how, how to make the changes. So we discussed in the previous meetings. Perfect. Okay, well. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions via email or, you know, go ahead and apply by the 15th so we get your application in and look forward to potential collaboration. Yeah, sure. Okay. Is there anybody else that I did not uh, ask to come off mute and uh, let us know what their background is and what they're interested in and the task force call is, I think I've covered everyone. Okay, great. Well, uh, as far as that goes, I would say time is of the essence for getting your applications in and don't hesitate. Bobby, you maybe wanna put your email address into the chat in case somebody has a question about the documentation mentorship. Perfect, thanks. So I think that pretty much covers it for this call unless Bobby, you or anyone else has anything they wanna cover. No, I just want to uh, further say that please, um, if you have an idea, if you're reading through the material, material and you wanna be a part of any of the different um, task force, just go to the wiki page and, and edit it. We, we were, that's our page to play with. And we'll know you, you're interested and you have a thought on, on, on something by the fact that you've put your name down or you've written a thought. You don't have to you know, sign up for one of the um, jobs right away. You can just say, I'm interested in learning more or whatever your thoughts are. But the more people who you know, date stamp and write a thought, the better. So feel free to do that. Okay, perfect. Well, uh, I'm gonna give everyone back six minutes of their time here. And I really appreciate the great turnout for this uh, call. Look forward to the collaboration. Do not hesitate to reach out to Bobby or myself if you have any questions about the mentorship in the next week here. 
And then, you know, we should be good with our applications by the time we roll around to the next week's call. Okay, have a great day, everyone. And we'll catch up next week. There was one question. Thanks, Ron. Oh. Yep, go I'm ahead. So sorry for being late, yeah. So there was this question, like uh, Nico, uh, sir, like he, uh, I asked him. So he uh, gave me links of some of the good first issues. So I had to ask, like, I want to contribute to both documentation and website part since I have like enough skills for that. So how can I find these issues? Like, where can I find these issues so that I can contribute? Okay, Niku, maybe you want to respond to that if you've been in communication with her. Yeah, uh, actually, I gave you the link for the start here's uh, page, right? So from there, you can just uh, pick uh, any of the projects which have some good first issues. Uh, actually, the good first issues keeps on updating as soon as the uh, latest good first issues are have been found on. So you can just uh, go to that uh, GitHub repo and just ask the maintainer or uh, maybe the uh, who has created or who is the uh, admin, who is the uh, owner of the repo uh, so that uh, you can just work on that issues. Okay, uh, okay. I'll just paste the link. Okay, in the okay. chat. Okay, sure. Thank you so. Okay, and then I'm also seeing a request for the link. Uh, so you want start here. Dot hyperledger. I guess it's wiki, right? Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Niku. Everyone, get that link in there. Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks for joining the call. If anybody else has any questions, bring them up. Otherwise, we're going to wrap the call. Okay, hearing no additional questions. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll catch up next week. Thank you so much. It was a great session. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks.